I'm so excited to show you today my Beach Waver 1.25 curling iron in their leopard style. Like, is this not the obsession? I know. So my favorite things about this iron is that it has a cute little power button right here. You can turn it up to 410 um, and then you use these little handles and it will automatically do the curls for you. It does an automatic rotation and anytime you push the home button, it'll go right back to where you started. Now it does take a little bit of practice. Once you're used to it though, it is the easiest iron I've ever used and it makes these really great, huge, voluminous curls. So let's get started. To get this look, you're going to want to split your hair up. I like to do it in four sections. So then that way I can take about a half inch to one inch piece, put it in the clip um, of this curling iron, and then use the buttons arrows to get that natural curl in there. Now, the biggest thing is you're going to want to use about half inch to one inch pieces um, in the curling iron, and then you're going to let them sit for about three to eight seconds. This is going to give you great curls um, and really have your hair holding the curl for longer. Um, now, the biggest thing is if you want the curls to look a little more natural, then when you curl it up into um, the top of your head, let it sit for three to eight seconds, and then you're gonna wanna twist it out and allow it to sit for another three seconds. These are gonna give you great beachy waves um, and really a natural big curl. Now, after it's all done, you're gonna wanna go in with a good hairspray. I like big sexy spray and stay, but whatever you like is okay. And then I also like to top it with an Olaplex oil. This just helps with my frizziness and making it look like a healthy glow. Um, and then to top off my curls, to give them a little more va-va-voom, I will use a wide tooth comb, not necessary, but love the 